Hey everybody, it is Saturday. Um, I don't even know what the date is. Let me check here. Uh, June 3rd, it is about 8.14 p.m. Coming to you from Cumberland Valley in Pennsylvania, South Central Pennsylvania. Beautiful day. It got up to about 80, uh, sunny, gorgeous, very low humidity. Just uh, one for the books. Uh, it is currently 8.14. Uh, the sun sets here about 20 minutes later than in Rhode Island. So we've got still a considerable amount of light. Uh, last night around 9.30, uh, it was still pretty, um, you know, <clears throat> it was pretty, uh, pretty well lit off to the west. And the um, sun comes up a little bit later, which is good for sleeping because you don't have, like, the light blaring in your windows at, you know, like, 5 o'clock and birds chirping and going crazy and what have you. Um, I apologize. Uh, I am on a bit of an incline, but it's uh, a nice spot, as you can see. It's like a little pond down there, and there was a lot of birds and ducks and stuff, so it was really nice. So i just been sitting outside. Uh... We went to Hershey Chocolate World today. I've been there before, but they redid the um, the ride. So we wanted to go see what the new uh, theming was. Uh, I didn't record any of it. Uh, I took a few pictures, but nothing substantial. Um, a lot more projection stuff than the last time, like projection on pipes and things, so you kind of like see what's going on inside. And if for people who've never been on it, it's kind of a ride that shows you like the whole process of how they make uh, the chocolate um, and everything, different types of chocolate and the process from the milk and production stamping and uh, and whatnot. It's pretty fun. I, I kind of liked it before. I really didn't like this time. They took out a lot of like the different, like they had these singing cows and they kind of like took them out and they moved them to another area and and now they have like an on, um, like a narrator on the, on the on the car you sit in, and it was off from what we were seeing. So she was talking about things, and then she would actually talk over some of the other um, displays that were explaining things. So you really had no idea what was going on. Uh, it was off by like 10, 15 seconds, and it was. Um, uh, it was a head so the narrator in the car you were sitting in was like a head and would explain things that you didn't get to yet and then when you got there she'd be talking about something else and you couldn't hear uh, the 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 you know the demonstration and the, the things that were going on there so uh, I guess it was kind of messed up I guess I'd have to go on it again and see if maybe I'd have a better experience um, but it's a cool little thing it's free to go in there it's right near Hershey Park um, they give you a ticket to go in so you're if you're there from zero to like three hours the, the parking is free um, if you lose your ticket they charge you like 40 bucks uh, thankfully we didn't lose our ticket um, we had some lunch there and they have like you know the gift shop and all the merch you can buy and uh, it's a cool place and it smells like chocolate they like pump chocolate smell into the gift shop area so it's it's really nice they have like a very cool like arboretum where there's a lot of um, uh, an indoor and there's like all palm trees and uh, set up. It's really cool. Um, and then the the food is pretty reasonably priced. I mean, I got like a really huge piece of pizza, which was probably like maybe like three or four pieces of pizza, you know, combined into like one, and it was like nine dollars, and um, and that was it. So we didn't really have. We had to get back to um, where we're staying to do something else, and I just went. Other than that, I just went to the local Wegmans and kind of drove around a little bit. Uh, and that's it. I, yeah, I like it here. It's a lot better than Rhode Island. People are nicer. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're still trying to figure out how to, how to like, make things work because we run into some roadblocks. Um, you know, selling our house won't be a problem, but it's just getting, like, down here... Um, you know, like pre-approved from a mortgage because we don't live here and different people have different requirements. Like you need to have like a job offer or some 
require that you have a job and then obviously if you don't make enough or what have you they might say like well yeah you have a job but you don't make enough so we can't qualify you for mortgage you know honestly our mortgage will be very low and what money we actually have to borrow would be very very low because of what we'd be putting down from our house but you know they don't want to take that in consideration things are all different now and you know high risk whatever blah 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 so we'll see if it's God, you know, God's will, he'll work out. Um, if not, I'll just like, I'll go, go live over here in the woods. Yeah, I'll just go live over there with the ducks. So that's it. Uh, tomorrow's supposed to be pretty nice. <coughs> I think we're going to go look at some houses. <clears throat> There's some open houses and we'll go check them out. And then, um, unfortunately, come back Monday. So that's it. This is probably one of my longest vlogs ever. Uh, yeah, way too long. But that's it for now, and I will catch you later. Bye.